Welcome to another video from GoPro Clips. Today we're going to be showing you how to do star trails with the GoPro Hero 4. First of all, you need to download a piece of software called Star Stacks. It can be found on the internet. The link is also in the description for you to download. And now what that does is put all the photos together and gives you the star trail. Secondly, uh, you just need to get a clear moonless night, so check the weather. Check, uh, check the weather forecast and make sure you're in a rural area with no light pollution from street lights or car lights. Um, basically just trying to get as far away from any light source as possible. Um, being on a hill can be dangerous in a way because you can get uh, light pollution from towns reflecting uh, into the sky. But just you know, try different locations. Um, if you see first try doing it, just go out and have a look, see where you can find the best place to be. Um, once you've got the right location and weather, get a good tripod. I've got my one here for my DSLR camera. Um, for the GoPro, these are really really good. Uh, the one that they came on the box, on the top of the box there. Uh, they're really good for holding the camera still on a nice flat surface. And also, it's currently being used to record, but I've got my tripod mount, and that's what can be used to pop it onto there. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you can get the pole star. The photo that's on the screen now is where I pointed at that, and the stars are there rotating around it. Now you've got your tripod set up, and you're in the right location, there's the right weather, clear moon this night, as I said, uh, you can set your camera up. Scroll across to multi shot setting, uh, press the settings button on the side once, select night lapse. 30 seconds, shutter speed and continuous interval. If you want to, you can turn on spot meter and pro tune. Spot meter allows you to get a better um, source of light if you're inside or in a car. And pro tune allows you more editing range if you're going to take it into Lightroom or Photoshop or whatever. Now the camera set up, get onto the tripod and start framing. If, you use, uh, if you've got the uh, GoPro app, you can use that to frame, switch your Wi-Fi or the camera on, pop that on, or if you're using the Hero 4 Silver, you can use the screen, the LCD screen on the back of the camera. Once you've taken a test shot and you've got the framing correct, you can then take a dark frame. This is useful for the Star Stacks program, which takes out any noise that may appear in the camera, sorry, on the photo uh, during the stacking. Now all you've got to do is hit process at the top of the menu. Use the green overlay just to cover just the stars by altering the threshold and the amount. Once you've done that, it fills in all the gaps uh, and then your output photo is ready. Click export on the top of the bar, save the file as a JPEG and that's your star show done. I hope your star trails come out well. Let me know how you got on in the comments. If you've got any questions uh, or you want any tips, pop them in there. And if you want, you can stick them on my Facebook page or tweet me them, and I'll give you some tips or uh, some feedback or other people can do so if you want to do that. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe on my YouTube channel if this is the first time you're watching any of my videos. Hit like on my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for regular updates and a little bit of kind of behind the scenes, different things that I'm doing at the weekends uh, or when I'm recording. So I hope this video has helped. As I said, if you've got any questions, I'll post them in the comments below. Um, Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.